guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through an in-depth list of all of my favorite hygiene products. So I have everything broken up into categories. We have oral hygiene, the hygiene products that I use in the shower, and what I use out of the shower, along with some skincare and favorite lotions and things like that. Just everything that I use in order to maintain good hygiene. I feel like the best way to show you guys that I love a product is by repurchasing it. So let's head to TJ Maxx and Target and pick up a few essential hygiene products that I'm all out of or I need to get a new kind because I tried a new one and it wasn't good. So I need to go back to a product that I know I love. So let's go. Stop number one complete. These are the ones I have right now and this jelly stuff when it's in the shower it like foams up and then it goes up over the razor and the razor doesn't even work anymore so that's why I definitely needed to pick up the old ones that I used to use because I know that I like those so much more. My favorite candy ever. Mm. If you haven't tried these, you definitely need to try them. I think they're only sold at Target that I know of, but they are so good. guys we have just finished picking up all of my refills that i need let's get home and get into my favorite hygiene products all right we are back from target so let's get into all of my favorite hygiene products our first stop is going to be oral hygiene so for oral hygiene this is the toothbrush that i use this is the Kiwi Bird electric toothbrush in baby pink. And if you guys know me and have been watching my channel, you know I'm obsessed with baby pink. I mean, just look at my, my water bottle, look at my room. I love aesthetic, nice things that are also practical. This toothbrush has so many different functions. As you can see, there's all these different buttons and they all do different things. It has five different modes, sensitive, clean, massage, white, and polish. And each of these five buttons corresponds with those modes. And how there's three buttons down here, it's because there's three different settings that each mode can be put on. So a low, medium, and high, depending on the sensitivity of your teeth. And I think this is awesome because my teeth and gums are super, super sensitive. Whenever I would use other toothbrushes, just like the generic ones from Target, you know, it's like two bucks for two toothbrushes. The bristles were so hard, I would brush my teeth and it'd make my gums bleed. And I know that's probably another issue personally, like with my gum health. But ever since I've been using an electric toothbrush, my gums don't bleed anymore. And I just feel like my teeth are so much whiter and cleaner. They just feel cleaner. This toothbrush does have different layers of bristles as well. As you can see, there's some taller ones and then there's some shorter ones. 
the top ones are for the gentle brushing and the bottom ones are thicker. So then you can get that deep clean, which I think is really awesome. So that way it's good for your sensitive teeth, but you're still getting a good clean without scrubbing your gums like till they bleed, you know what I mean? The three levels of sensitivity are gentle, medium, and strong, which is really good because that way, however you brush your teeth, it's gonna be customizable to you, whatever you need. If you need it strong because you have good gums, good teeth, and they're not gonna bleed, then that's perfect. But if you want a more gentle brushing, maybe you just use whitening strips and your teeth just feel a little more sensitive or you just have sensitive teeth in general, this toothbrush makes it so easy to customize to whatever you need. Also, this toothbrush has a smart pressure reminder. So if you're brushing your teeth too hard, it's going to prevent you from damaging your gums and your enamel just automatically from the technology that's built in it, which I think is awesome. Cause that was a problem I used to have. I would scrub my teeth thinking that it was gonna help clean them. But in reality, I'm just brushing away at the enamel and damaging my teeth more. This toothbrush is also really easy to charge. You just pop open the bottom, there's a little charging port and it comes with a cord. You just have to use your own box and it charges for, I think it takes about six hours, but then it lasts for a really long time once it's fully charged. But once it is charged, it lasts for 300 days without needing to charge again. Like that's amazing. Cause you basically charge it once a year. Like that's so easy and quick. You just plug it in overnight, boom, you're good for the next year. This toothbrush also comes with this super cute aesthetic case, very minimal, clean. It's gonna match whatever other luggage or toiletries you have. And I think this is great because you just pop it open, you take off the top, and then you can just put everything right in here. And then it's nice and protected and sanitary when you're traveling. Pop it on in here and Velcro it in. And then there's the toothbrush. And then you just, boom, fold it like that. There's also room for the charging cord in the case. So you just pop her in. And if you have a mini size toothpaste, it fits in there as well. I will leave the link to this toothbrush in my description. And if you guys are interested in twinning with me and having cute pink toothbrushes, or they also have white and a few other colors too, then you can use code AMANDA and you can get 25% off your order and they ship worldwide. So yeah, if you guys are interested in this toothbrush, it'll be linked in the description below. For the toothpaste that I use, I use Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I really like this toothpaste. I've been using it for literally years. This one is in Advanced Radiant Mint, but I've also used the different flavors that they have. I just make sure it's the Crest 3D White. And I just really like this toothpaste. I feel like it's helped whiten my teeth. And yeah, I really like it. When it comes to flossing, I'm not necessarily the best person but I'm trying, I'm trying. But these are some good flossers. This is the brand Grin, cute packaging, love the pink. It's just a normal little flosser. It also has this little toothpick that you can bend back and then use to clean your teeth further. Now let's move into the hygiene products that I use in the shower. <laughs> This is my absolute favorite soap. It is the Olay Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. My fam, my favorite YouTuber, she was using this and I was like, okay, let me try it. And I've been using it ever since she made a video like a few years ago. This is the large version. Um, it just has more products, but they have smaller ones. And I believe this is around 10 bucks. So it is amazing, smells super good leaves my body feeling super moisturized and nourished and not stripped and dry. Now let's do body scrubs. My favorite brand of body scrub is the Tree Hut brand. I have vanilla right now and it smells so good, especially because my other products smell like vanilla. So everything's very cohesive. But as you guys saw, I picked up the Moroccan Rose 
body scrub and this one was my OG favorite. I've been using this one even longer than the vanilla. I just wanted to switch things up, try vanilla. I like it, but I like this one as well. And I feel like it's giving spring, it's giving floral. So I wanted to switch it up. So they both smell so good and they are about $7.99. But I showed you guys a few other alternative scrubs that are around five bucks that you can get at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So for shaving, this is the EOS shaving cream. This is more of a shaving lotion, I feel. It doesn't foam up, but I don't really mind that. This helps my skin feel super moisturized while I'm shaving. But if you are new to shaving, I would recommend a shaving foam, just any generic one from the store because it helps you see where you've already shaved. But if you're more experienced and you've been shaving for a few years, I think this one is great. For razors, these are the Gillette Men's Three Blade Razor. And I really like these ones. I told you guys that I had tried out a different razor brand. It was from the women's section and it just, got all gooey like the stuff that's supposed to make it so you don't get razor burn like bubbled up and then it got hard and then i couldn't even use the razor after like one use unless i scraped all the goo off and i was like what what the heck what's going on but these ones are awesome they're fairly inexpensive it was 12 dollars for all of these and this is eight so I think this is a pretty good deal. I do wish they had cuter colors, but I'm not gonna complain. I've showed you guys these shampoo and conditioners before. It's the Derma E Scalp Relief Shampoo, and it's just for scalps that are irritated, and it just helps soothe them. So yeah, they smell pretty good. They've got a bit of tea tree oil, so it gives that minty, smelling, feeling. It feels like you brushed your teeth on your scalp, which I like because my scalp gets irritated. So it's very soothing to my scalp, but some people may not like that if you don't like minty scents. For showering, I'll take a shower every day. For washing my hair, about every other day. This is a serum that I use on my scalp whenever it's super irritated. It has tea tree oil, aloe vera, and an herbal blend of other things that are good for your scalp and I really like this. It smells similar to the shampoo and conditioner and I don't use it all the time, only if my scalp feels super irritated. Now let's move on to products that I use outside of the shower. We will start off with my favorite moisturizer for my body. This is the EOS 24 hour moisturizer, vanilla cashmere, and this smells so good. I'm sure you guys have seen this online before, but it's good for sensitive skin and it has shea butter in it, which is just very moisturizing. This smells so good. For removing my makeup, this is my favorite makeup remover. It is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And this is the waterproof one because I use waterproof mascara. I'll pour this on this microfiber towel. I'll either use these or just normal cotton rounds. And I'll soak them and I'll press it on my eye to kind of loosen up the mascara. And then I'll just rub off the rest of my makeup. These are really good. These are just from the dollar store. And this, I'm not sure where it's from because my mom gave it to me, but I'm sure you can just Google microfiber makeup remover towel. The micellar water works really well. I don't like makeup removing wipes. I feel like it strips my skin. I feel like it rips out my eyelashes, especially if you use waterproof makeup. But this stuff, I've been using it literally since high school. So I've been using it for years and I still love it and repurchase it all the time. For washing my face, I will use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. So you see this color, it's a little darker green and there's also a more pastel green. That one is foamy. I don't like that one, that one dries out my skin. This one is great, it doesn't foam up. It's just very moisturizing. And I'll also use a washcloth or a face cloth 
and whenever I wash my face, I will use this and this, this towel is reserved for my face only. Don't wash your face and then use the hand towel. Don't wash your face and then use your body towel. If you can use a separate towel that's designated for your face, it's going to prevent so many excess breakouts that aren't necessary because if you wash your hands, whatever germs are on your hands, you're gonna put on that towel and then you're gonna put that towel on your face. But this one, it is only for your face. And then just wash it every week. My skincare, I know I've showed you guys the same products in all my videos, but just a quick recap. Osrx Snail Mucin. I've been using it, I believe this is my second or third repurchase. So I think that this product is great, very moisturizing, and I would recommend it. I got this off Amazon, and I've also found it at TJ Maxx before as well. Good molecules, hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid. I used to use niacinamide by The Ordinary, and I realized I, that it was making me break out. But hyaluronic acid is my best friend. I love it. Super hydrating, very moisturizing. Make your skin look glowy and fresh. And I also just love the Good Molecules brand. In general, they have a ton of great products. Here is another Good Molecules product, Daily Moisturizer. Just a good, lightweight moisturizer. Not super thick, not super greasy. Just straight to the point. Moisturizes your skin. And then this is my sunscreen. It's super important that you guys wear SPF every day. Right now, it's technically still winter, I guess. I don't, it's still cold outside to some extent. And I've been wearing SPF all through the winter because even though it's not super sunny, the sun rays will damage your skin and it's technically damaging the DNA in your skin, which can cause mutations, which can lead to cancer. A little biological mini lesson for you. So that's why SPF is super important because it puts up like a shield that will block the rays from getting to your skin's DNA and causing it to mutate. So wear your sunscreen. I believe this one is like 12 bucks and there are even cheaper ones out there. So wear your sunscreen. And once I started wearing sunscreen, my skin started looking so much younger, plumper, like a baby. And before my skin looked really dry, I was starting to notice more lines that I hadn't paid attention to before. But when I started using sunscreen, they kind of started reverting. Now for some fun skincare things. I recently got these. You guys saw they're just pixie eye patches. This isn't necessarily for hygiene. This is kind of for pampering, but I wanted to include them because I thought they were really cute and I'm excited to try them. Next, hyaluronic and retinol face masks. I've never used these ones before, but I love hyaluronic acid. And these were five bucks and you get five masks. That's why I love to get them from TJ Maxx because if you get them from Target, it's around $4 for one. So it's just such a better deal to get a pack from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I had a ton of questions about these. These are the pimple patches that I used in my previous video and these work really, really well. They stick to your face and I really like them. They help my pimples heal. They help protect them from the dirt and everything. And a lot of people think that these patches suck the pus out and they aren't really sucking the pus out. It's just providing a barrier from all the dirt. And then that white stuff that you see is kind of just the moisture from your skin because your skin will produce moisture while you're sweating, things like that. Because the makeup of these is really similar to what people use for blister band-aids. And if you look at those, those will have that same white goo, <laughs> you know? So yeah, super great. And I got these at TJ Maxx for like five bucks, $5.99 and they also sell them at Target. For some tools that I like to use in my skincare routine, this is a quartz roller that my boyfriend got me, and I really like it. It feels super cooling on your face. I've had it for a few years, so it has a little bit of wear on it, but it's still going strong, and I still love it. So this ball, if you put it in the freezer, and then you roll it under your eyes, once you've done your skincare, it feels really, really nice. 
Both of these are just for depuffing and things of that nature. I believe this came with a Grande Lash kit that I got for Christmas last year. There are tons of similar cooler balls that you can find online. The last product that I use outside of the shower is going to be this deodorant. This is the Fiji Old Spice deodorant with antiperspirant and it just smells so good. Smell good, right? It smells awesome. I've been using this since high school as well. I just feel like men's deodorant works better. I don't know why. I just like the smell and maybe it doesn't work better, but I think it smells better at least. But yeah, love this. And if you haven't tried men's deodorant, next time you're at Target, walk through and just give them a smell. They don't smell super masculine. They just smell good. <laughs> The last category of things I'm going to go through are my favorite perfumes and scents that I love that just help me smell really good. This perfume is from Dossier. It's a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Daisy and it smells literally so good. I would say this is my signature scent. I used to buy the Marc Jacobs Daisy or I'd receive it for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts, but this one is $30 from their website. It smells identical lasts all day so i love it i did peel off the tag because i thought it looked more aesthetic without it but yes it is in the scent floral violet yeah i love it if you haven't tried out dossier give them a try this scent is more of a floral flowery scent which i love another one of my favorites is bombshell seduction from victoria's secret this one also smells good. And this scent is somewhat floral, but it gives more of a nighttime vibe. I am awful at telling the notes and the tones and all of the components of a perfume. I don't know how to describe them, but it smells good and it gives a nighttime vibe. So I hope that that is somewhat helpful. And this perfume is by Giorgio Armani, Good Girl and it also smells so good. The, all of my perfumes are somewhat floral with different minor vibes. So this one I would say is also somewhat of a night vibe or like you're going to a lunch, you're going to a dinner, you're going out somewhere. I don't, I wouldn't say I'm gonna wear this one to school, but this one I'll wear every day. I'll wear this to the gym, I'll wear this to school, I'll wear this to work just different scents, different vibes. You know what I mean? That is all of the products that I use and that I love for my hygiene routines. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you use any of these products already or if there's any hygiene tips or products that you guys do or use that I didn't mention. And I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please like and subscribe. We are almost at 11,000 subscribers already and we just hit 10,000. And I, it's, I'm i just so shocked. Like you guys are coming in like crazy. I love you though, so keep coming. Um, yeah, don't forget if you guys want to twin with me, and have beautiful pink toothbrushes, you can use the code AMANDA for 25% off and all of the information will be linked below in the description. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope that you enjoyed. Bye.